Alrighty, it's Perdex, and I'm back. So, I've got a bit of a new webcam thing going on here. Well, I used to use this, and I still will. This doesn't require batteries. So, the idea is that I can be more relaxed and ramble a bit, and then just edit out all the crap bits later. I'm trying to be relaxed, but I'm not sure I know how to. So, originally, at the start of this project, I was hoping to do a new video every single day, wasn't I? That obviously didn't work out. So I've been watching a lot of Wheezy Waiter recently, and he's been really getting me in the mood to do this again. And I love coding, I love front-end dev, I love mobile development, and it's, it's not okay to have gone this long without doing something. And the excuse that I was giving was that I was doing university as well. I don't really care about university. I'm adamant that I'm not going to do anything other than freelance. I just, I want that freedom. Uh, I wasn't actually too fussed about the degree. I figure now I've got three months. So, here's the plan. Every single day I'm going to get out of bed, sit down here, turn on the lights, turn on the camera, and talk to you guys. I'm not going to be uploading every day. I'm going to be splicing all this footage up and uploading it on Sunday morning. And because I'm going to be documenting everything, it means that the footage is there if I need to make individual videos on specific projects that I'm working on. This is what day, month, year is going to become. This weekly summary of everything that I've been up to. Public Vote and Lawmaker are going to be paused for now because uh, the data.parliament API that I was going to be using is going to have a big improvement coming up pretty soon. So I'm just going to wait and start on a different project. I really like Equilibrium, but it's a massive task. And it's clear that I'm going to need to be earning some sort of income very soon. In three months, the student loan is going to stop. I'll have no money to live on. And so it'll be my own projects, income and freelancing. That'll get me some money. Equilibrium is a massive project and um, that I want to just peck away at over time. I'd better get on with it, really, haven't I? Here's the plan. An app that converts any given action into the only real currency that exists. Time. You see, money is difficult to come by, but it's theoretically unlimited. Inflation and interest makes more appear out of thin air. But when you're born, you're born with all of the time you're ever going to have. Then, when we grow up, we spend our time to earn money, and then we spend the money on food so that we can keep existing long enough to spend the time on things we actually want, like VR headsets, a holiday in Italy, or a, enough alcohol to kill a small elephant. But how can we make sure that we're spending our time in the right way? How can we compare one activity to the next? Well, we use this formula. Time equals minutes travelled plus the activity cost divided by your wage over 60 plus the activity duration. Okay, let's apply it. You live 25 minutes from the shops and you're off to buy a camera that you really like and it costs £80. Say you're lucky enough to be earning the London living wage of £9.15 per hour. It takes you 15 minutes to check out and then 25 minutes to walk back again. All in all, this costs you 589.59 5 minutes or 9.74 hours. If that camera was £10 cheaper, it would only cost you 8.73 hours, about the equivalent of walking for an extra hour or doing nothing for an hour. In other words, if you found something closer but more expensive, it could actually cost you less of your non-renewable time units. Or you can find a cheaper deal an hour out of your way and still spend less time doing so. And that's even factoring the time cost of working to earn that money. So when is it cheaper to take public transport? How many hours a day should you work? And how do you get the most out of your life? Well, let's make the app and find out. <laughs>
to run out so far. I sat down, I planned out how I wanted the app to work, I turned those plans into wireframes, and then I changed those wireframes into initial Photoshop designs. I reckon it's looking alright. For those who are curious about the uh, mood boards, I was using a website called nice.co. Two eyes, I use it almost daily as a really good sign. During the design process, I was totally fixated on orbits because it seemed like the best way to uh, represent time and life, if that makes sense. So those are probably going to make it onto the final uh, coin logo thing that you probably saw in the designs there. There's a few things included in the design that I don't even know if I can do yet. Taking a photo of your shopping receipts and running OCR on it to uh, create an itemised list of all your spending. That could be quite difficult. I'm also going to need to write a couple of crawlers to crawl for things like the TFL website or the black cabs uh, to figure out how much it would actually cost to go from point A to B if you weren't walking. So the next step is just going to be making the app with dummy functionality just so we can get it out there, put it in front of some users, see how they use it and see if there's anything that needs to be changed on the design before I start going ahead and spending hours and hours implementing features. To summarise, starting a new project is going to be called Plank. It's going to be about converting everyday actions and purchases into a single unified currency, in this case time units called planks. I've drawn out the plans for how it's going to work. I've drawn up some initial wireframes. I've made the Photoshop designs for most of the pages and next week I'm going to be starting coding. It's really good to be back and I'm really looking forward to going through these projects with you guys again. Until next week, be good, be sound, be safe.